welcome everybody to some more single player Minecraft. Um, it's been a little while since I recorded my last episode. How? Okay. Um, I had to expand my house, as you can see here. Once you enter now, I've got this big tree sticking out from it. But I have this little area back here because I just didn't have a whole lot of space. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of chests here with assorted items. So I've got like stone stuff, uh, coal, bamboo, dirt, all kinds of plant material and leaves, wood stuff, metals, and then I have uh, logs. Um, let's. I wanted to add these, but instead I'm going to turn them into. Um, charcoal instead. Now, what did I have here? I have some smooth stone. I, I need to make a blast furnace, but I think I can use a... I think I need smooth stone for that. Let's see, how do we make a blast furnace? Let's grab some iron. And, well, I guess going to tear open the wall here and make get a furnace let's see blast furnace I need just a little bit more iron for that need five total so th and now we can do it there blast furnace okay so what the blast furnace is gonna let us do is uh, cook stuff <laughs> just like normal but in half the amount of time so if I take there and the one piece of charcoal does it not work with the charcoal it doesn't work with the charcoal Does that work? No. Does it only let us smelt ores? Okay, let's do the ores. Yeah, so only, huh. So we're more limited to what we can make. That's actually disappointing. I might not make many of them then. Because here I can just do this. And I can make the stone into smooth stone. So it'll use the same amount of fuel, and it'll uh, smelt the same amount of stuff. It'll just do it in half the time. Which, unless you're uh, actively waiting on something to uh, cook, it's actually not that useful. Okay, this gold is almost done. So what about uh, what about cobblestone here? No, it's not doing that either. Okay, that's actually really disappointing. I actually don't care for the blast furnace that much then. Because you're only going to use it for iron ore and gold ore. Uh, I suppose. Like, maybe something else. Uh, speaking of things that you need to see is, obviously, I got some diamonds and I got a diamond pickaxe now. Um, so I do have that. I do have, and I did mine all this obsidian. Uh, 57 blocks. That's all from the uh, the X lava lake underground. Now, and when I said I had um, a lot of gravel down there, I wasn't kidding. So that's my tree farm. I'm building, making the giant spruce trees. You can just do saplings two by two, and then uh, you can get the giant giant ones, and you get like a stack or so of wood out of them. And I've also captured some cows and, and horses to start farming. It seems like uh, these types of animals, they keep roaming around. So if you don't catch them, they might just wander away and uh, they'll be off of your land. Oh, and I love this. This is the campfire. Obviously, it's not going to cook anything right now. Um, I have some uh, flint and steel right here. Ow. Okay, 
and now now you know it's gonna make some smoke and it's gonna cook these uh, you need a water bucket to put it out otherwise it will just keep going it will not burn up it doesn't use fuel you need some coal or charcoal when you make it um, and so it takes a little longer to cook food and you can only do four pieces at a time but technically it's a fuelless uh, source of cooking so you can you can use the smoker okay now it's all done there we go now I have a whole stack of salmon oh and I captured I don't know if I showed you that yet I captured these chickens I don't know what to do, what to do with them oh okay I fell down <laughs> There, trapdoors uh, ensure that you can jump out and they generally won't pathfind their way out of there. So I've started growing some bunch of stuff around here. You know, I've got the bamboo, jungle trees, every type of tree basically except for birch all, all going. Gotta put that away. Now then, uh, gravel. Lots and lots of gravel. This whole double chest. And some extra. That's all the gravel I have. Now I figured out you can make concrete powder um, from gravel and sand. And concrete powder, it's like how terracotta, how you can have the different colors. But concrete powder is brighter. And concrete, and, uh, if you add water, it makes concrete blocks. And then you actually have the bright colors rather than the more muted colors of terracotta. So dirt, and then I have diorite cobblestone, granite, or granite, and a site, and I have some sand and glass. Now I went um, off the map, basically southeast of me, uh, there is, in uh, that direction, there is a big desert. Uh, so I will try to map that out sometime once I figure out how to do that. Oh, and then over here I have not much yet. This is just like, hey, lava and other stuff, redstone, flint, obviously, from all that Gravel, coal, flint, um, I th so I guess I'll have to make arrows. You know, I have a, lots of flint. I have this chicken, so I have a good supply of arrows. Or um, arrows of feathers. And then sticks, obviously, and then you can make arrows. Down here. Oh, iron. Stone. Just put that up here. Mostly kept some iron down here just so I can keep making pickaxes. And uh, I've expanded some paths in both directions. There's a cave system attached to there that I'll have to go through some more. A lot of this stuff is ended up connected. And then down here, I dug this all the way down to bedrock. Uh, mobs should not spawn on bedrock, so I don't need to light all that up. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with it. Might cover it in like glass, or like the black dyed glass if I have enough squid because uh, you could then walk on it and a mob shouldn't spawn on transparent blocks either now obviously you see some diamond ore right there uh, I'm not gonna pretend it's not there I'm not like that I'm not petty enough to do that to you just yet I don't know if I want to mine it yet because uh, I want to get a fortune enchantment and I don't know if I want to get it and then get it later or if I want to just already work on getting some enchanting stuff going and then being able to get a fortune enchantment and then I can maybe potentially get some more out of these ore blocks than uh, uh, I would otherwise get because it's four five of them so instead of five diamonds I could get a little bit more if I had a fortune enchantment even if it's not on my diamond pickaxe uh, if I get fortune on an iron pickaxe that would be not ideal, but you know. And then up here, there's cave stuff going. Um, but I kind of want to just keep pulling this this road through. Ultimately, if I have multiple areas, multiple kingdoms going in my world, I might have them all connected with the deep roads, to borrow a term from uh, Dragon Age. Maybe I'll fancy the place up a little bit. Yeah, you can even see there's little bits of gravel still there. Um, and there was a bunch like right up there. But yeah, so much, a tiny bit there. But yeah, more than a double chest full of gravel is what we got. 
Now, and I did promise you uh, that we would explore the nether or enter it today. And we will, but it will be more like dipping our toes in because we are woefully unprepared. Hiya! 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 Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, a zombie! Where did you come from? Ha! I'm gonna sleep until daytime. Oh, an Enderman! Ooh! You saw that off in the distance? I'm gonna go sleep and um, hopefully it will let me. And then I shouldn't be bothered by them for what I'm planning next. Okay, very good. He's, he's going away. Oh, um, hello. He's in my house. The Enderman is in my house. So I need some armor. Um, so let's do that. We can do this. Some boots and a helmet. Some pants. And a chest plate. And then we also need a sword. Right there. If you hear weird background noises, it seems to be my cat. Uh, I have some boxes sitting behind me of, of some computer stuff we bought recently. And she seems to prefer it laying on them over her uh, pillow and blanket and all that. Okay, the string uh, can go in this. This is like my junk box for right now. It can go in there. Um, anything I don't want to bring, I probably do not want to bring my diamond pickaxe. That can go in there. Um, buckets. Well, it might scoop up some lava. Flint and steel, just in case the portal it gets destroyed. Uh, crafting table is always good to have on me. Shovels. I want soul sand. I want a magma block spawn in there, if, uh, I learned. And I might want some nether rack. I might actually make a stone pickaxe, because you can mine nether rack really quickly. And you don't actually need... There you go. You can mine it really quickly just with a stone pickaxe. Uh, and then a shield. We probably could use a shield. I don't know how to make a shield. Shield. What's, what's the rest? Tell me the recipe for it. Some wood and one iron bar. Okay. Uh, we have wood. Wood like that, iron like that. Okay. Yes. Okay, now I feel a lot more confident about this. Oh, do I have to crouch to, to block? Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna store all my nether stuff in this chest uh, as soon as I'm back. So, why don't we go in and see what uh, the nether holds for us. I've been so afraid to go in there. I've actually always been afraid of the nether, mostly because of the ghasts, because they blow up netherrack. Pigmen aren't, uh, zombie pigmen aren't scary, because they don't, they don't attack you unless you attack them. They seem to be fairly chill. And then wither skeletons, uh, I mean, that's another story. But they're usually, you can tell where their blazes are scary. Oh! Okay, okay, um, big open area, okay, lots of lava, and there is a nether fortress right here, oh, shiitake mushrooms, what's up, what's up, ghast, come at me, come at me, yes, oh, yes, <gasps> we killed it, we killed it with its own tear, its own blast, that's fantastic, Oh, how about you? I can take you on, too. Yeah, yeah. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Miss. Oh, you blew me up. Yes. Now I'll try again. Ah, he dodged it. I don't have a bow, so I just have to uh, get lucky here. Yes. Oh, get wrecked. Absolutely. Oh, 
Did I tell you I was I'm really good at games? Because apparently apparently I am. I love this new texture for Netherrack. It's not horribly ugly to look at anymore. I don't feel like uh gouging my eyes out when I look at it. Now I want some soul sand, uh because not only because of just having it, but because it has new properties after the water update, the aquatic update, um, that will... Doesn't it push stuff up? I think so. I think... Yeah, 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 yeah. The magma... I, I thought I had the, the stone pickaxes specifically for this. Uh, the magma blocks, they suck stuff down under if they're underwater. Meanwhile, the soul sand pushes stuff up. Uh, so I can make the spider farm that I wanted to make by um, using some of the soul sand. Because uh, the way spider farms used to work is you would just have them drown and then their drops will just go to the bottom of the water and then get uh, in entered into like a hopper or whatever there and then go into a chest. Now stuff floats. Uh, so their drops would float. <gasps> a magma cube. Oh my god. I've well, barely ever seen some of those. Yeah? Come on, attack me. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Oh, the little ones hurt too. Okay. Um. Anyway, as I was saying, now their drops would float. So I could still have them drown, but their drops would float. Um, but what I think I can do is... I can have them get stuck in a spot... Uh, by using the soul sand to keep pushing them up. Anyway, there there, sh there are farm designs that utilize that. So uh, even though I don't understand it right now, I'll have to look it up. And these magma stuff. Yeah, it hurts you when you step on it. Okay. Oh, but you can sneak on it, I'm told. You can sneak on it. Yeah, see, I don't take any damage right now. I'm sneaking on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did some research. And then you can mine it and then you just get the blocks. That's very cool. I could probably use some of this. Probably use this for something. I mean, also the underwater properties of it. As I said, it sucks stuff down towards it. Um, as well as, it can keep mobs away. Enemy mobs. Uh, ow. Okay, so I take damage once that I fell on it. And I can sneak on it. There we go. See, and he's got, he's got an enchanted sword. That's really cool. You're more 3D than you used to be, too. Look at his face. It's like slightly... There's like depth. Like it's really a layer of skin that's from his face. To you, that might be very normal. But the way I'm used to Minecraft is that you, skins used to be... You know... Okay, there's a weird loud banging noise outside just now. That's why I was quiet. Um, zombie pigmen have the same skin as a zombie, or the same model, I should say. Um, which is also kind of the same model that a player has. The regular Steve, like, or the male, sort of male character model, not the wider, the wider character model, that is. Uh, if I remember it correctly. And... With a result that I can light this up. I don't know if I need to. But you didn't have these multiple layers is what I'm trying to say. And now nowadays you do. That's been in the game for a while. But it's just still something that interests me. Now the other property Soul Sand has is it's slightly lower. If It's slightly lower than a regular block. Even though you can't see it in the hitbox. But you can see me going down, up down like you can see the slight height difference as well as it forces you to move slightly slower but yeah the biggest I didn't even mention this there's a nether fortress right here right where we spawn now right where we spawn in the nether that's fantastic I mean I love 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 nether brick and with access to enough netherrack, we can just make it. Because nowadays, 
Again, I say nowadays because I'm so old. I used to play Minecraft and you couldn't do this. The Nether has been in the game for, for a very long time, but Netherrack used to be fairly useless. And then after one update, I say nowadays, but it's been a long time ago already, you can uh, smelt them and turn them into nether bricks and then make nether brick blocks out of them, just like you would um, clay into brick. Although clay is very, it's kind of rare. It's not super common at least. Wow, so we didn't even get an achievement for hitting the gas with its own thing. So I don't, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if I, my Xbox app is not working like properly or something. Because uh, that's how it ought to work. It ought to get me the achievement uh, for that. Oh, hello, another guest. Yeah, you're stuck in the floor there, buddy. Uh, we'll go say hi. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. So now we've got two guests here. So those are like, kind of like a trophy item almost. Like, look, we killed some of these bastards. But they're also for... I think they're for potion of regenerations, aren't they? If we want to make potions. Man, everything in Minecraft seems kind of advanced now because it's like... I've never done anything with brewing. Well, not in this world yet. And to make a brewing stand, I need blaze rods too. And then blazes. I need to find blazes that live in here too. Look at this glowstone, it's so bright. I want it. But I kind of want silk touch on a pickaxe before I get all the glowstone. But I'm definitely gonna come back for you. Also want some of this lava. I don't think you can ever have too much lava. Back at our portal, there's gotta be some way we can make this area safe. So we're gonna have to come back sometime, grab resources, and build a hub area here where, where we are safe and where ideally no monsters uh, spawn. Don't wanna get a ghast right out from the get go, like coming in to say, saying hi to us. We're gonna go explore, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up into, into this fortress here. Oh, you can hear a guest. Did you hear that? That ball. Okay, let's see. We're gonna have to pillar our way up. Yeah, like this, to the window here. Okay, I'm not, uh, not a, oh, there they are. I was gonna say, I'm not a big fan of all these noises and of these guys. They're not attacking me. Oh, they're going to, he's going to. Okay, and I'm on fire. There's not much you can do, aside from having potions, to not get set on fire. Because you can't, uh... Oh, a wither skeleton. Yeah, come at me. Come at me, bro. Well, he's down. Drops a stone sword. Yes, of course, uh... Nether warts. If you don't mind if we take some of that. Very careful not to hit him because he'll get pissed off. Anyway, 
what was I saying? Oh yeah, I have a water bucket on me, but I can't place water water into in the nether, so there's not much we can do. Oh, oh. Okay. Hiya. Hiya. Hiya ya. Hiya ya. Hiya ya. And a big slime. Hiya. Ah. Your size is no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are they so fast? Why are you so fast? Oh. Death. Death cometh. No, no. Die. Oof. Easy peasy. No sweat. Um. Let's uh, make that. Did I pick up one of the stone swords at all? Uh, that's a negative. I don't want those, but just gotta try to keep some space in my inventory. Now, the wither skeletons obviously just kind of spawn in these areas. So we would have to do some big projects and it requires digging. Um, Hiya! In order to actually make use of that to make like a farm for them. Because while these are cool, these uh, skeleton or skeletons, these fortresses. Oh, there's more up there too. These fortresses are extremely cool. Uh, we can't really uh, um, turn them into anything that's safe for us. Because. You get wither skeletons just spawning here. Now I can go upstairs. I assume there's just more more bad stuff up here. Oh, yeah, hello. Some gold and iron horse armor. Neither of which I can really take right now. Cool. I'll just make, keep making some torches out of it, because I keep putting them around here anyway. Um, let's not go that direction. Okay. Okay. What up? What up? What up? Oh, he's withered me. No. Oh, how long, how long am I withered for? There's a regular skeleton. Hmm, I think I'll just get uh, away from here. That's not very long, actually. It's already over, that effect. Um, make more torches. I'm actually having more fun than I thought I was going to have exploring this area. Uh, more gold. I do like me some gold. But I'm going to leave it there for right now. It's just because of the limited inventory space, yeah? Come at me. Shoot at me. Oh! Heck, that shield did nothing. I do think light, to some extent, prevents mob spawns in the nether. But only to some extent. Oh, another chest. Nether wart. Iron and gold horse armor and a golden sword. All this armor. It's so good. I'll come back for you. Uh, I'll come back sometime. I'm gonna try to find my way back now. Okay, we're back at our portal. Whew, that was some adventure for right now. We survived the nether and made it out in one piece. I went back in there to get some more materials and this is my haul so far. So would you look at that? We got some netherrack, some magma blocks, some soul sand and some miscellaneous other little items. But that should let us, with the blaze rods, we should be able to make a brewing stand and the nether wart and the soul sand, we can start growing that. With the nether rack, we can either, well, we can 
do whatever we want with that. Either use it to build with or make nether brick out of it. And then with the magma blocks and the soul sand, we might be able to use that to our advantage underwater for some stuff. I'll have to come up with some ideas. Um, I do definitely want to work on the spider farm idea. Uh, now I should have... Whoa. I'm sorry if I'm spinning too fast. Um, wait, I should have the materials now to get that done and to actually make something out of that. So um, maybe uh, that'll be the thing that I'll do next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more. You can check out more Minecraft that I do on uh, the Raincloud multiplayer server as well. That's also a series I have going. And uh, yeah, thank you very much if you stuck it out till the end. And I'll see you next time. Bye.